It's day four and a number of homeless people are still camped out in front of Hamilton City Hall. This protest started after city councillors voted against a motion last week that would have seen two parking lots in Stony Creek turned into affordable housing projects. Hadi Azad joins us live with more. Hadi. Good evening, Adam. I'm currently outside of City Hall where the tents are still up. Now, earlier today, I spoke to Angela Voss, a housing advocate. She said yesterday there were about 65 homeless people camped out here. Now, today, even more people have come out to set up their tents. It makes me really heartful and hurt because I miss him daily, every day. Chantel Scott says the system took her son away back in September because of her disability. I want him back. The only way is to get housing. I'm asking for help. She says she had five strokes and her left side of her body is paralyzed. Scott moves around the city with her service dog, Dakota, who helps her with her strokes and emotional needs. She has an apartment, but Dakota isn't allowed there, so she slept in her chair at the encampment last night. I'm sleeping in my chair with my dog, so I am always freezing. I don't have a coat. I don't have a hat or mitts. So, and this is all I have. Housing advocate Angela Voss says she remains dedicated to helping the homeless community find safe housing in the city. She says the homeless situation is spiraling out of control. I'm finding this one lady under a frozen blanket the other day. The blanket was stiff, solid around her. And all she was doing was whimpering under the blanket. Voss says she sent several emails to the city, but she hasn't heard anything back. If we can all work together in a, as a community, then we can eradicate this problem. But ignoring it is only exacerbating the problem. Voss isn't homeless, but has been spending the past few nights at this encampment. She says it's exhausting, but she's glad that she's helping out. Well, do you think you got the bomb? Michael Venema has been homeless in Hamilton for the past seven years. He says he has lost friends from drug overdoses. We need a safe place to go and it's something that's affordable as well. Venema says if the bylaw officers do come and take his belongings, he has nothing to lose. I've had everything taken from me on numerous occasions. Just kind of start over and, and uh, you do what you got to do, right? In a statement sent to CHCH News last night, the city says bylaw officers issued 10 notices of trespass on Thursday. They say municipal law enforcement and Hamilton police will continue to work together towards compliance throughout next week. The city also says there's ongoing talks with residents and staff to address the housing crisis. 